Today we're going to be making an investment in productivity by learning everything there is to know about custom shortcuts. Let's dive in. Every time you reach for your mouse while you're doing something on your computer, you're slowing yourself down. That two, three seconds pause multiplied by hundreds of times a day adds up to a staggering eight days of work every year. And not only that, every time you have to grab your mouse, you lose focus, you get distracted, you lose your flow. So today I'll show you how you can get more done in less time just by using keyboard shortcuts that will make you feel like you're controlling your computer at the speed of thought. Are you ready to work at lightning speed? Let's do this. So let's start with the basics. Every basic function of your Mac and of the many apps you're using can be controlled by keyboard shortcuts. Some of these shortcuts are really common, really famous, such as Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and so on. They must be the most used shortcuts ever. And yet, you'd be surprised by the large number of people who ignore completely these things. If you've never used Command C and Command V to copy and paste, then you're in for a formidable speed improvement. So, for example, I use Apple Notes quite a lot, as you probably know, and one of the features that I use the most are um, highlighters. In a normal situation, without knowing the shortcut, I will go in, select a word or maybe a sentence, and then right-click and go to Font, Highlight. So, now my text is highlighted, but this thing took, I don't know, three, four, five seconds. Instead, what I can do is to select a word and then simply press Command-Shift-E to have it highlighted. This takes less than a second. How do I know this thing? Because this is the main problem. Many people don't know that shortcuts exist because nobody told them. And um, so if you don't even know that these things exist, you probably don't even think about asking for um, shortcuts. So the best recommendation that I can give you, especially if you're very new to this thing, is to explore your menus and see what is available. As you can see here in the Apple Notes menu, for example, and by the way, I'm using Apple Notes to demonstrate this thing, but this applies across Macs and apps and everything. Everything that relates to formatting your notes uh, can be sped up by using a keyboard shortcut, and they are listed here. So if you want to convert something to a title, Shift-Command-T will give you that. If you want to convert it into a block quote, you can, you can press Command, and in my case, accented I. That depends on your keyboard. So explore the menus and see every shortcut which is available for the tasks that you normally perform, and make it a point to spend one minute a day learning them and applying them so that they become second nature. Before you realize, you will have saved yourself minutes and then hours of time just by using a key combination instead of grabbing your mouse and selecting a menu. Now, let's move on to the next level, which is custom keyboard shortcuts. As you've seen, there are lots of menu items that already have a keyboard combination, a keyboard shortcut attached to them. These uh, combinations were created by their programmers because they thought it would be useful. Maybe the, the, the features that most commonly would be used by people. However, there are other features that are useful potentially to you that don't have a keyboard combination attached. For example, I use fairly often the um, transformation feature that makes text uppercase. And there is no keyboard combination for that. So what did I do? I created one myself using a custom uh, shortcut. These are really easy to create on a Mac. You just go into your settings, then you click on keyboard, then on keyboard shortcuts, and then you can create one. It's really easy. You select the app you want this new combination to be applied to. In my case, it's Apple Notes, but you can also create shortcuts which are available system-wide. And then you type the name of the menu item that you want to um, attach the shortcut to. And then you type, you actually press the key combination on your keyboard that you want to uh, use. Now, just a couple of gotchas. First of all, you need to type the menu item exactly as it appears on your app. So double check. So in my case, for example, uh, capital letters, M and uh, U, and so on. But a typical gotcha is forgetting to include the ellipsis. So menu items have three dots at the end, which you need to type as well, the ellipsis. So don't forget that. The other word of caution is about the keyboard combination that you choose. Um, many combinations are already taken. And whatever you choose here will overwrite those existing combinations. As an extreme example, very extreme, if you decided to use Command C for whatever function, then the typical standard function that is attached to Command C, which is to copy text, won't be available to you anymore. 
and you will have to deactivate your shortcut to make it available again. So be mindful of that. The best way to avoid conflicts is to choose combinations which are um, not usually found. And these are typically the ones that involve using several modifier keys. In particular, combinations that use the four keys, so Shift, Control, Option, and Command, are basically never found, and there is a good reason for that. They are extremely difficult to pull off. You need to be like a little octopus to be able to press all the keys together, and maybe you need also another hand to press the letter. But on the other side, the flip side is that basically they are never used. And at the end of this video, towards the end, when we're going to be talking about Carabiner, I will show you a very easy way to enable you to press all the four modifiers without being an octopus. So stay with me till the end. You can also use this system, as we've um, attached on, to not just create new shortcuts, but also to replace existing ones. Now, the question would be, why would you want to replace an existing shortcut? And sometimes it could be because the shortcut is fairly complicated. Maybe it involves too many modifier keys. Or maybe you are left-handed and you tend to keep your uh, left hand on your mouse or on your pencil. So you want more shortcuts on the right side of your keyboard. So you could convert an existing left-handed shortcut, such as Command-C, to maybe a right-handed shortcut, which could be Command-M, for example, to copy and paste. I mean, this level of personalization will require quite a bit of effort, and I suggest in any case that you jot down the new shortcuts you create, because after a while, and especially after you start seeing the value and the benefit of having custom shortcuts, you will create many in different apps or maybe system-wide, so it's a good idea to avoid forgetting them, to create a little list, maybe a little table in Apple Notes, that explains what each keyboard combination you've created does for you. The next section is shortcuts for shortcuts. <laughs> it's a bit of a silly name, but a great way to automate stuff on your Macs is by using shortcuts. For example, on this uh, channel, I've already demonstrated in a previous video how to create a monthly calendar in Apple Notes using a shortcut. It's an automated thing, it's very useful, and by the way, it's available for free if you're interested. Look for my video on the Cascade Planner on this channel. But it becomes even easier to use if you add a shortcut that launches that shortcut. And this is really um, easy to achieve. You open your shortcut and you click to add a custom shortcut to it. As I said, it's probably best to use several um, modifiers to launch it. So in my case, I've selected the four modifiers and the letter P. You basically press all of them on your keyboard and they will be recorded. And at this point, this shortcut can be controlled with this keyboard combination, even if the Shortcuts app is closed, even if Apple Notes is closed, for example, because when you press it, you will start a shortcut, start Apple Notes, and create your monthly plan without you doing anything else. As I said, it uses the four uh, modifiers, so it's a bit difficult to pull off. But in the next section, happening in 20 seconds, I'm gonna tell you how to simplify this thing even further. So let's move on to the final section, which is Carabiner, which is a great free little app that you can install on your Mac, and it will really skyrocket your ability to use shortcuts, because it will allow you to customize anything that relates to pressing keys, pressing mouse buttons, and lots of other things. It's a bit complicated. It's like moving from primary school to university in a way, but as soon as you see the power, you will see that there is value in using an app like this one. So let's move on to the final stage, Carabiner. So Carabiner may be a bit intimidating at the beginning, but really it does a very simple thing. It converts whatever you press on your keyboard into something else, or maybe whatever you press on your mouse or any other device. It's a really capable app into something else, even a sequence of uh, commands. For example, I've got um, the, the most basic here. I've converted my caps lock key into the four modifiers. This key normally even has a name. It's called Hyper and replaces all the modifiers. It's already included in Carabiner as one of the most basic options because people use it for this purpose. So for example, now every time I press the caps lock key, the computer feels 
uh, as if I was pressing the four modifiers. So a keyboard combination like the one that I used before for my shortcuts that creates the monthly planner, which was um, Shift, Control, Option, Command, P, I can now pull off by pressing Caps Lock, P, or as we would say, Hyper P. Um, another useful key combination is the one that I normally use in Safari, which is this one. Uh, when I'm, I'm reading some text and I want to search a specific bit of the text in a different tab, I would normally highlight the word and then press Command C to copy it, Command T to open a new tab, Command V to paste that word into the search bar and then enter for actions. Now I've got a single key combination, which is um, Hyper S for search, which does everything for me. Um, when I press Hyper S, Carabiner uh, does this sequence for me. It presses Command C to copy and then waits a bit and then Command T to open a tab and then Command V to paste and then enter. It does everything for me and with just one keystroke, I'm searching for something on a new tab. Another one that I use fairly often in Apple Notes is this one. It's uh, a key combination, Hyper A, that changes the text I'm highlighting in Apple Notes in four ways. It highlights it, makes it bold, makes it underlined, and makes it all caps. I use this thing to highlight important parts of my text. And this is really easy to pull off with Carabiner. As soon as I press Hyper A, Carabiner will highlight it by simulating me pressing Shift Command E. It will make it bold by simulating Command B. It will make it underlined by simulating Command uh, U. And it will even invoke my own custom shortcut, Control U, to make it all caps. Now, we are barely scratching the surface with Carabiner. Let me know in the comments if you want a deeper dive. But I hope that I've given you an overview of what is possible with shortcuts across your Mac starting from the standard ones to the most advanced. And by the way, a special shout out to Tekezo, who's the author of Carabiner, who made it available to everybody for free. So feel free to download, install and experiment with it. And by the way, this one is Tekezo. It's a photo um, taken from his uh, website. And after careful consideration, I've concluded he's the guy on the right. <laughs> Jokes aside, you can never know with these genius kids programmers who will probably start coding when they are two months old. Anyway, jokes aside, thank you very much for being with me again today. I hope you've learned something new. Let me know in the comments below. And for now, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.